Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. The road brings me to Fort Mill, South Carolina, and we are here on the former grounds of Heritage USA. You can see in the back behind us, that is the abandoned tower. But I'm also joined by my good buddy, Adam the Woo. Hello. And my new friend, Scott from Scott on Tape. I'm going to include both of their information in the link below so you can go check them out. They do some good stuff. As I said before, Adam is a Steven Spielberg <laughs> to YouTube. And Scott. I'm more of a Lloyd Kaufman from Troma. And Scott, because he does a lot of mystery and graveyards, I'm going to say he is the Alfred Hitchcock oh, to YouTube. Oh, nice. Wow. Give us a profile. Good evening. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock. That's Hitchcock would be proud. Yeah, Spielberg and Hitchcock. Wow. Yeah. I don't know about that, but thank you so much. Okay. Well, we are going to show you all around Heritage, the former Heritage USA, and show you some things that you always wanted to see, but never got a chance to. Or never and, knew you wanted to see. Yes. And now it's time to show it. And we'll get started right after. This station identification. That's it. the former site of Heritage USA in Fort Mill, South Carolina, near Charlotte. And this Chatty, Chatty Kathy's Coffee House, this was the registration for the campground when visitors would come to Heritage USA up on top of the hill overlooking the pond. And there, Behind it, there's some of the original cabins that are still here. And these cabins, they are some of the few that are left from the original Heritage USA. Okay, I'm kind of rely on Adam to show me a few things because he has done a lot of detailed investigation and this is where a tram stop was that you would come get on the tram to take you into heritage usa this is heritage tower where supposedly for a thousand dollars will get you three free nights here but it was never finished before Heritage USA crumbled. Now, Heritage USA and the PTL are two separate things. The PTL was actually the television show, but Jim Baker would go on the TV show and he solicited money from folks to come to Heritage USA and they could have three free nights for $1,000. Place of ministry. So if you want one of those memberships, be sure to call it today. They're going to be all gone, and it'll be too late. For a $1,000 gift to the ministry, you can stay for four days and three nights in the beautiful Heritage Grand Towers. And that is something that is so special. And all the memberships, as soon as the tower is up, you'll be able to use the grand memberships in the tower, and you can use it for 10 nights of camping, or you can use it four nights in the end. You can actually interchange them when the tower is 100% completed. When complete, you can use your tower membership also in the Grand or in the end or for 10 days of camping. One of the problems was, though, they had sold so many memberships that there were not enough rooms to go around. Yeah, if you ever 
if you ever watched the PTL show during the show that was broadcast from here, they would always include this grand hotel just giving updates on how the progress was being made on this thing. Now, this was the original hotel at Heritage USA and the tower being right behind it. But how you can kind of put things together is the walkway. You can see the wooden archway up there. They were proposed to knock that out and that would be a entrance and exit into the hotel expansion. So the Morning Star Ministry now owns the Heritage Tower and they have ramped things up and are in the process of resuming with the building of Heritage Tower. It's gonna be resort campus and an active adult community. This parking lot is huge but if you look all those condos all around are standing right over the property of the old heritage usa the foundation for the castle that was at heritage in fact here's a photograph of it right now what the castle was got the parking lot there in fact over here's even more kind of foundation photo what the castle looked like so adam says that it's just rumor that inside this castle was going to be the world's largest wendy's restaurant we're standing right here so right over where these condos are that was an island that was all part of the water park. And they filled it in now, so it's not out of island any longer, but there's water right on the other side. Okay, if you'll just look back from now into the 80s, you can vision, vision Jim Baker standing right here. Am I Jim or Tammy? I don't know. I'll leave it to y'all figure it out. Who's got the longest eyelashes? Okay. Where's my mascara? Where's, Jim Baker was standing right here. He was. Jim Baker was standing right in this spot. Yeah. The same little wrought iron railing. You find those pictures, Tony, and line it up totally with that bridge. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. The castle. I thought I would include this. This is the way the building looks now. But as you can see from this picture, things have changed a lot or at least the facade has so this now is a wooden bridge across as you can see these cross ties this originally supported the train that went across to the water park island the bob jones vision center this would have been your entrance to go into the water park right through there have their ticket, their admission, their wristband, whatever they utilize to designate. Well, I've just purchased my ticket to go to the water park, and we are going to walk across the bridge. But in the 80s, it went all the way across. So here is a photograph of Jessica Hahn signing an autograph. And they said that they were, they say that she was signing her, uh, her photograph that was in the Playboy magazine. As you can see, that building in the background. So we have not determined yet as to what kind of boats was on this lake. But because Jim Baker wanted this to be kind of like Disney World, I wonder if they had the big old Huck Finn style paddle boat that would have been on this lake. If any of y'all know, comment. So from old satellite images, this pool was actually here and in use when Heritage USA was.
where we're, we are fixing to go inside of the old Heritage USA, which is now Morningstar. And there is Scott and Adam, and they're so psyched because they just don't know what they're gonna see once they go in. The guest room check-in right here. Here is the main stage where they would do the shows from. All these are guest rooms up here. There's a camera boom. Yeah, I just asked. In 1987, Heritage USA was the second most visited. <laughs> Heritage USA. <laughs> Heritage USA was the second most visited destination in the U.S., second only to Disney World. Brings back the memories as to what the outside of Heritage USA would have looked like back in the 80s. There's Adam, he is filming. Really cool. And of course, this place is used by the Morningstar Church now, but there are all types of things. Here's Main Street Little Theater. Over here, oh. Okay, this just says elevators. Now, if anyone ever watched the PTL Club, this doll should be very familiar to you. Oh, there we go. We finally. Yeah. So that is a wave pool that's on the island. Okay, see this? Yeah, it's just great. It looks as well. Here is a menu. The dining experience at Heritage USA. You can get hash browns for a dollar and quarter, but you can get grits for a dollar. Is this them building it? Wow. Bacon and egg sandwich, three ninety-five. Yeah, they really. They, they, here's a they photograph of Jim and Tammy. Into the history. And a photograph of Tammy. The same organization. Okay, this is called the barn where they did a lot of the episodes for PTL. That's also one site. We're gonna go by there as well. Retreat for recreation. Here's a photograph of the barn. There were a lot of episodes of the PTL show shot from there. The most unique. Wow. So this came first, and then the water park came afterwards. Oh, they had a ferry boat. Even a trolley. It's not horse drawn. That's something you see over the DCA. That's uh, you can see off in the distance in the Heritage Tower. That's where we've been. And we are going to a, another destination, the upper room, and it is in this direction. It's a good ways. Right over here, this little log cabin is a gas, propane gas filling station. This was an old tram, tram stop back in the day. That is Pontius Pilate washing his hands. In the Gospel of Matthew, Pontius Pilate washed his hands and he said, I'm innocent of the blood of this person. This is the upper room in Fort Mill. It was a part of the Heritage USA complex and it was reconstructed as an identical replica to the real upper room in Jerusalem, which is believed to be the first Christian church and the site of the Last Supper.
in 2009, it was about to be torn down when a group of people stepped in and purchased the building. And in 2011, they opened the church. And it is still a functioning church to this day. That's the only thing I've seen outside right. of that That's building. The first thing That's that it. has the name on yeah. it. So Jim Baker I looked up to them, learned. Now, if you come over here, there's a few more graves in there. None of the last things I've seen, but there's also a dog buried here. Buddy. There's a dog? Yeah. In the middle of these human graves, there's a dog grave. Hmm. So I thought Aubrey Sarah was backwards, but Aubrey was his name, his first name, his last name was Sarah. In memory of Buddy. Right up there, yeah. This stone building, this was the old PTL studio where a lot of their shows were filmed. Jim and Tammy Faye came right down this road to film the PTL Club. After you leave the upper room, which is in that direction, the path is no longer there, but it would come down through here along the river, continue across right there and go to the barn, which was the production center for the PTL Club TV show. It was a photograph of the barn. The there were a lot of episodes of the PTL show shot PTL. from there. The most unique of this was another tram stop from the Heritage USA amusement park. The tram would come down here to let people off. I wish it still came today. It would make it a whole lot easier to walk back up that hill. Yes, this is, this is inside the barn. This is actually where they shot the PTL show. Right inside here. Jim and Tammy Faye was set right up on the stage with a live audience. This impossible dream. Then the beautiful towers will have this fellowship lobby. We're talking about fellowship. The Grand has a beautiful lobby and this is the lobby for the tower area where Christians will be able to fellowship. This is just the entrance to it. There's big rooms on either side. Is this close enough? Is this close enough? Yeah. Well, okay. Personal space. Well, this right. is not sticky tongue in my ear. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you have enjoyed our trip to the old Heritage USA. The old, <laughs> the old Heritage USA. I want to thank my friends Adam the Woo and Scott on tape for joining me and showing me around. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to share it with your family and friends. But until next time, praise the Lord. You Give it a big <laughs> No. Come back here. <laughs> have a good day. Y'all do it. Until next time, y'all. Y'all have, have a good, a good day. day.